Hi, my name is Sean Mathis. I'm from Air Inspect Australia. Today, we're really excited to be part of the launch of the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Part of this, we've created a four-part series. It's a case study. In part one, we talked to the general manager from Jim's Building Inspections to understand some of the limitations and challenges that they face working at heights and how the likes of the Mavic 3 Enterprise will help them fulfill their jobs on a day-to-day -day basis. Hope you enjoyed part one. Just introducing Sam Robertson from Jim's Building Inspections, um, who's the general manager. Welcome, Sam. Thank you very much, Sean. So today um, we want to talk about a little bit about who Jim's Building Inspections are. Yeah, so we're a building inspection company in Australia and New Zealand. So we have 150 franchisees from Jim's Building Inspections. It's a franchise model, but we've got independent business owners who have a building background that do uh, residential and commercial private consulting and inspections for, uh, for customers. Right. And what are the typical backgrounds of some of these inspectors? Um, that are involved with Jim's building inspections? Yeah, so look, we train our guys how to do reporting, but they've got to know building. So they're, they're building professionals, um, generally at the uh, top end of their career where they've uh, been in the building game for a while, generally registered builders or site supervisors type um, building professionals. So that we find they're the best um, in terms of the types of inspections we do because they're been involved in the start to the finish of a job. So. Um, they're really great with uh, customer service and consulting people if they're buying or building a home. So obviously got a fairly large organisation of about 150 inspectors. What are some of the typical concerns for you for your guys? In terms of us looking after our franchisees? Yep. Yep. Uh, well, health and safety is a, a major part, occupational health and safety. Um, helping them develop a really good business where we're industry leading. Um, and when we're talking about drones today, technology is always ever evolving and uh, you know, giving our premium product to our uh, customers. We've got a great app that um, helps our guys do the inspection, get reports out quickly, but we need to get to every nook and cranny to make sure that we get um, the best quality report for our franchisees. Yeah. So yeah, really the top of mind for me is a quality product, but also the occupational health and safety side of it so that our franchisees um, come home from work enjoying yep. what they're doing. Of course. So you, you touched on the drones, obviously, and I know I've been working with you guys for a good couple of years. Um, you're always looking at that next you know, improvement and next value for your franchisee. Um, can you talk about where, you know, working on Heights, OH&S concerns, what are some of the most basic things that you have to sort of train the guys on? Well. There are a couple of things that uh, affect our guys in terms of um, safety on a job. One, they're alone most of the time. So that causes a few issues. So the communication technology that phone's got to be on, um, where they're going on a job is a big concern for us because we've got to make sure that wherever they are, if they get into a bit of strife, they can contact someone and we can get to them. Um, also working at heights. So, um, you know, you know, the standard, we can only go up 3.6 metres on a ladder, but even there, we need three points of contact. So um, getting on a roof is pretty much a, non, a, a, a no go zone for us. So that limits our inspection types that we can do and, and the amount of um, areas we can get to. We're really accurate with our cameras in terms of zooming in and looking at a roof, but the next step for us is the uh, drone technology. So working with Air Inspector Australia over the last couple of years, um, we're really excited about um, those aspects of it that we can help our guys in terms of working in heights, but it goes beyond that. It, it, it opens up the doors for more difficult, more complicated types of inspections, commercial dilapidation, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, yep. really, really excited about the partnership and where it, where it could possibly take us. Yeah, so I mean, obviously the drones we've talked about, you've got the ones that do all the high resolution imagery, we've got the thermal capability. Um, thermal, how would that um, give you, obviously water ingress, uh, water leaks, um, yeah, um, and uh, situations where, you know, the property is energy efficient, but where's the water going? Where's, um, you know, ventilation um, and things like that? So yeah. we can see some real capabilities with this sort of technology in terms of that as well. Yeah, it'll definitely be exciting to sort of look at some of those properties together and see what sort of detail we can get together. 
yeah. yeah. Um, high rise buildings were just out of our oh, out of our capability. We ran yeah. to the hills when it came to that. Yeah. But we're now working on some projects together, which yeah. we have now got that capability. Um, yeah. Air Inspector Australia, they're the experts with the photography and the drones. We're the expert with the building knowledge. So the yeah. partnership's working really well. Um, and our franchisees, are more and more as they get in front of you guys can see the capability and where they could take their business. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you touched on the high rise. Um, we've talked about industrial portfolio and, and small commercial. Um, is that something that we can definitely grow? Because obviously there's a big market, uh, which, you know, there's not a lot of proactive maintenance going on. Mm. And that expertise that, um, you know, 150 guys today, and obviously that's going to keep growing. Um, is that something that you can sort of see developing in, in sort of maintenance space? Yeah, look, um, where our reach across Australia is quite large now and, and New Zealand, um, there's certainly growth in uh, the number of uh, business owners that we're going to have across Australia and New Zealand. So we can get there, but that's useless if we can't, um, you know, reach those expectations in terms of commercial um, and industrial type inspections that we need to do. So we see it as a a really um, important step in our uh, growth as a business, but also the growth of our franchisees because new service development is all constantly changing for us. You know, when we started, we were doing pre-purchase residential building inspections. Now we're across stage construction for new construction. We look at, um, as I said, the more health part of a home, asbestos mold, meth testing, things like that. Dilapidation reports, we're we live, unfortunately, in a more and more litigious society, so these things have got to be crossed and checked. Um, so if we can get to get our eyes and ears to more parts of the building, well, then it's it's a benefit to us as a business, but also our client base. Yeah, and I guess then um, back to the technology aspect of things, uh, the, the beauty of something like this sort of drone offers your inspectors is they don't even have to be on site. It's the expertise, yep. right? So it allows them to actually... Um, do more work without physically being on site. That should yep. be exciting. Which, which, when when you came to us, Sean, that we had a fair bit of trepidation with that. We thought, <laughs> is that possible? Yeah. Um, but the photography and the three D imagery that this brings out, we are totally confident that yeah. um, we can give an accurate inspection um, for our customers. And you know the you know the best opportunity to be on site and absolutely look at these um, projects. But if we can't get up there and these things can, um, we can see um, yeah, great opportunity with that. And from the um, number of uh, building inspectors that we've shown this technology to in that photography, they're totally confident that they can uh, give an accurate description and really good advice and consultation for our clients. Yeah. Well, as always, thank you very much for your time today, Sam, and we look forward to the future and using more technology with you. Absolutely, Sean. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. Good on you.